Moving on now, the Taliban have claimed that an Australian firm would bankroll a $450 million cannabis processing plant in the country. Sea Farm, the firm named by the Taliban, however, has denied any involvement in this whatsoever. The first report of the supposed deal appeared in Afghanistan's Panchwok Afghan News. It said that representatives of Australia-based Sea Farm had met with counter-narcotic officials at the Ministry of Interiors to discuss producing medicines and creams at the factory, offering a legal use of cannabis, which grows abundantly there. No sooner the report was published than it was picked up by several global outlets, including the Times of London, many verified Twitter accounts of journalists. From the BBC to many more repeated these claims, but then... Sea Farm Australia said that it got caught in an unexpected publicity storm. Its representatives have said that it is a family-run business with only 17 staffers and that they have never spoken to the Taliban. Nor does the firm have any dealings overseas or involving cannabis in the first place. Sea Farm Australia's chief financial officer, Tony Gabbitas, says, and I quote, We're just trying to work out what we're going to do to stop it. We've had probably 40 or 50 calls today. It's just out of control and it's just all lies. Media guys not doing any due diligence on what they want to publish. That is what Sea Farm Australia has said. The CFO also said that he suspects a report stemmed from a tweet by a Taliban-linked account which named a company called Sea Farm. Earlier, the Taliban press director, Saeed Khosi, posted on Twitter, he writes, and I quote, all the stages of the contract with Sea Farm have been completed and in a few days the project will be officially launched which will create jobs for many citizens. Reports cite Kosi saying that the company which would be given access to nearly 6,000 acres of land for cultivating cannabis to produce medicinal creams, ointments and other topical cannabis-based products. But shortly after taking control of Afghanistan in August, the Taliban had vowed to crack down on the illicit drug trade. Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is still with us on this broadcast. He joins us from Islamabad. Anas, thanks for staying with us. Now, the Taliban have claimed that an Australian firm would bankroll a $450 million cannabis processing plant in the country. What more can you tell us about this? Well, uh, to clarify, uh, because we saw a lot of uh, controversy around the fact that whether it was an Australian firm uh, or not, uh, well, the Taliban's uh, Ministry of Interior spokesperson, Khali Said Khosi, in an exclusive comment to me, he has said that uh, the Taliban government is in talks with the German uh, pharmaceutical company, C Farm, so it's a namesake of the Australian firm as well, and that is wh uh, with who they have signed a $400 million deal, uh, to set, which will be setting up plants across the country uh, to set a step up. Uh, cannabis production. Now, what would be interesting is to see how would they be regulating that because following the Taliban takeover, when, when we were reporting from there as well, we saw a strong crackdown against uh, these uh, drug uh, uh, dealers by the Taliban that have been done and those who were consuming drums, drugs, they were forcefully taken to, to rehabilitation centers. Uh, now, if I take you back in time, uh, before the US invasion of 2001, the Taliban had banned the growth of opm however hashish or uh, this cannabis that is something that uh, they used to thrive on uh, with regards to cash collection so it would be interesting on how uh, this would be regulated but uh, on the part of the taliban the taliban coming out with a statement to to be on and saying that uh, uh, they have signed the deal with the german pharmaceutical company c farm and not the australian pharmaceutical company contrary to what has been reported priyanka right anas malik thank you so much for joining us on beyond at this hour and thank you for all those inputs. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.